Magnet 3 Sports Answer Sheets Before you read A. What does UEFA stand for? Answer UEFA stands for the Union of European Football Associations. B. How many teams competed in Euro Cup 2020? Answer 24 teams competed in Euro Cup 2020. C. Which is your favorite team? Why? Answer. My favorite team is Italy because this football team has unique strategies to win the games. Working with words. A. Many English words are from other languages, such as redemption in the news above comes from the Latin word redimir, a combination of re, d, dash, meaning back, and emir, meaning by. Now, find out the origin and the meaning of the following words from the text. Penalty, major, stadium, trophy, defender, anthem, dejection, jubilant, record, suave, podium, tournament, reminiscent, incredible, saber. Penalty. Origin, this word penalty is derived from the old French word penalite and medieval Latin word penalititum. Meaning, a punishment for violating rules of procedure. Major. Origin, the word major is derived from the Latin word ma earlier asterisk magios. Meaning, greater in dignity, rank, importance, significance or interest. Stadium. Origin, the word stadium is derived from the Latin form of the Greek word stadium. Meaning, a venue where sporting events are held. Trophy. Origin, the word trophy is derived from the old French word trophy, meaning an object, usually in the form of a statuette, cup, or shield, awarded for success in a competition or to mark a special achievement. Defender Origin, the word defender is derived from Anglo-Norman defender, from old French defender. Meaning, one of the players whose primary task is to prevent the opposition from scoring. Anthem Origin, the word anthem is derived from Middle English antim, from Old English antiphon, antiphon and Old French antim. Meaning, a choral or vocal composition, often with a religious or political lyric. Dejection Origin, the word dejection is derived from from Old French dejection, from Latin dejectio, meaning a low condition, weakness, inability. Jubilant Origin, the word jubilant is derived from Latin jabilans shouting for joy from jabilry, meaning making a joyful noise. Record Origin, the word record is derived from Middle English, borrowed from Old French record, from recorder meaning an item of information put into a temporary or permanent physical medium. Suave Origin, from Middle English suave, borrowed from Latin suvis, doublet of sweet. Meaning, charming, confident and elegant. Podium Origin, the word podium is borrowed from Latin podium, from Old Greek pideltiotomicrono, from diminutive of piomicron, foot. Meaning, little foot. Tournament. Origin, the word tournament is derived from Old French tournament. Meaning, a series of games, either the same game played many times, or a succession of games related by a single theme played competitively to determine a single winning team or individual. Reminiscent. Origin, the word reminiscent is derived from Latin reminiscence, Present participle of remin score, from re, plus min, base of me menace, akin to mens, see mental, mind, etc. Meaning, suggestive of an earlier event or times. Incredible. Origin, the word incredible is borrowed from Latin incredibilis, from in, not plus credibilis, worthy of belief, from crd, believe. Meaning, too implausible to be credible, beyond belief, unbelievable. Seva Origin, the word Seva is derived from Middle English Seva, from Old French Seva, from Latin Seper, from Sapi, taste of, have a flavor of. Meaning, the specific taste or smell of something. 
B. Consult a dictionary and define the following terms related to cricket. Example Wicket, two sets of three sticks standing in the ground with pieces of wood lying. Stump, one of three small wooden posts which together with the bales make the wicket and that the fielding team attempt to hit with the ball. Crease, one of the white lines drawn on the pitch to show different areas of play, especially the popping crease but also the bowling crease and the return crease. Boundary, the edge of the field beyond which the ball must be hit to score four or six runs. Sixer, a shot hit by the batsman that clears the boundary without touching the ground, resulting in six runs. Googly, a type of delivery in which the ball spins in the opposite direction to that of a normal leg spin. Leg by, a run scored by the batting team when the ball hits the batsman's body and goes away from the fielders. Wicket, one of the two wooden structures at each end of the pitch, consisting of three vertical stumps and two bales, the target for the bowler, defended by the batsman. Maiden, an over in which no runs are scored. Pitch, the strip of land on which the game is played, between the two wickets. Power play, a period of the game, usually of six overs, when only two fielders are allowed outside the inner circle. No ball, an illegal delivery in which the baller oversteps the crease or the ball bounces more than once before reaching the batsman or the baller throws the ball in a way that is considered dangerous. Yorker, a delivery aimed at the batsman's feet, making it difficult for them to hit the ball far. C. Pronunciation Divide the following words into two groups in accordance with their pronunciation A and E. Fine, shine, rain, rail, why, slay, height, bright, might, snail, break, fake, five, freight, eight, game, claim, friend, sight, white, gate, by, hail, frame. Answer 1. AI Fine, shine, bright, might, five, Y, sight, white, by. 2. EI. Rain, rail, sleigh, break, freight, eight, game, claim, friend, gate, hail, frame. Comprehension. A. State whether the following sentences are true or false or not given. A. England was the champion of 1996 World Cup football. Answer, false. B. Italy bagged its first Euro Cup trophy in the Euro Cup 2020. Answer, false. C. The English team has won more trophies in international football than Italy. Answer, false. D. According to the captain of the English team, the pain of losing a match has lasting effects. Answer, true. E. The Italian team was playing in their home ground. Answer, false. F. The goalkeeper of the Italian team had performed the best than any other players in the match. Answer, true. B. Answer the following questions. A. Why does the reporter say that England is waiting to heal its half-century-long pain? Answer. The reporter says that England is waiting to heal its half-century-long pain because the English football team has not won a major tournament since the 1966 World Cup. B. How did the Italian players react as soon as they became the champions? Answer. As soon as the Italian players became champions, they celebrated by embracing each other, jumping up and down, and waving the Italian flag. C. Why did Saka and Sancho cry? Answer. Saka and Sancho cried because they missed their penalty kicks during the decisive penalty shootout, which cost England the chance to win the Euro Cup. The penalty shootout has long been a bitter experience for the English team. Why? Answer. Penalty shootout has long been a bitter experience for the English team because they have lost many important matches in penalty shootouts, including the semi-finals of the 1990 and 1996 World Cups and the semi-finals of the 2018 World Cup. E. State the contribution of Roberto Mancini to the Italian football. Answer. 
Roberto Mancini, the coach of the Italian team, made significant contributions to Italian football by leading the team to win the Euro Cup 2020 after a long period of underperformance. He introduced a more attacking style of football and built a strong team spirit that helped the team to overcome tough opponents. F. How does the Euro Cup Final 2020 remind the audiences of the 2018 World Cup semi-finals? How? Answer. The Euro Cup Final 2020 reminds the audiences of the 2018 World Cup semi-finals because both matches involved England losing in the semi-finals of a major tournament. In both matches, England had taken an early lead but failed to hold on to it and eventually lost in extra time or a penalty shootout. Critical Thinking A. Every match is a new opportunity. Put its failure behind and start over again. Does this apply to the Italian football team when we analyze their performance from their failure to qualify for the World Cup football to their victory in the European Championship in these four years? Answer. Yes, the statement every match is a new opportunity. Put its failure behind and start over again applies to any team or individual in any sport. The Italian football team's victory in the European Championship after failing to qualify for the World Cup football shows that they were able to put their previous failure behind and start afresh. It is important for players to learn from their mistakes and move on to the next game with a positive mindset, and this applies to all teams. B. When a team plays in a home ground, it gets a huge support from the audience in the stadium. Does this support them to win the match or the players may feel pressure to win and thus lose? What do you think? Answer. The impact of playing in a home ground can be both positive and negative for a team. On one hand, the support of the fans in the stadium can give the players a psychological boost as they feel a sense of familiarity and comfort playing in front of their own fans. The players can also feed off the energy and enthusiasm of the crowd, which can create a positive atmosphere and encourage them to play better. On the other hand, playing at home can also create pressure on the players, as they are expected to perform well and win in front of their own fans. This pressure can lead to increased stress and anxiety, which can negatively impact the performance of the players. Additionally, the expectations of the fans can create a hostile environment, particularly if the team is not playing well, which can add to the pressure and further affect the performance of the players. Moreover, the home ground advantage can also be affected by external factors such as the playing surface, weather conditions, and the quality of the opposition. Even if the players have the support of the fans, these external factors can create challenges that may be difficult to overcome. In conclusion, while playing in a home ground can provide a significant advantage to a team, it can also create pressure that can negatively impact their performance. The impact of home ground advantage on a team ultimately depends on a variety of factors, including the quality of the players, the strength of the opposition, and the environment in which they are playing. Writing uh, The following passage does not have any punctuation marks. Punctuate it with appropriate punctuation marks. A lot of people try to get away from home for a few days each year for a holiday. There are lots of things to choose from and where you go depends on how much money you have got to spend. Ideas for holidays include relaxing on a beach, exploring cities and skiing. One man wanted to go to Australia but thought he'd never have enough money to get there. He will go to his brother's caravan at the seaside. Instead, a young woman wanted to go clubbing in Ibiza as Shed heard it's a lot of fun. Answer a lot of people try to get away from home for a few days each year for a holiday. There are lots of things to choose from and where you go depends on how much money you have got to spend. 
Ideas for holidays include relaxing on a beach, exploring cities, and skiing. One man wanted to go to Australia but thought he'd never have enough money to get there. He will go to his brother's caravan at the seaside instead. A young woman wanted to go clubbing in Ibiza as she'd heard it's a lot of fun. B. Write a news story based on the given information. Argentina beat Brazil to win Copa America. By Rotters. Rio de Janeiro, 10th July. First major title in 28 years. First medal for Lionel Messi in a blue and white shirt. The Maria goal gave them a 1-0 win over Brazil. 15th Copa America equal to Brazil. Brazil piled on the pressure but they could not get an equalizer. Brazil more aggressive in the second half. Argentine defense outstanding. Answer. Argentina beat Brazil to win Copa America. By Rotters. Rio de Janeiro, 10th July. Argentina beat Brazil to win Copa America after 28 years, securing their first major title since 1993. Lionel Messi, who has won countless trophies with his club Barcelona, secured his first international title with Argentina and the Maria's goal in the final gave them a 1-0 victory over Brazil. The game took place in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and it was the 15th Copa America win for Argentina, equaling Brazil's record. Brazil started the game as the favourites, and they piled on the pressure, but they were unable to get an equaliser against an outstanding Argentine defence. Brazil came out more aggressively in the second half, but they still could not break through the defence. The match was intense, and both teams played with high spirits, but Argentina's defence proved too strong for Brazil's attack. Messi, who has had a long and illustrious career with Barcelona, was emotional after winning his first major international trophy, and it was clear to see how much it meant to him. Argentina's victory was celebrated by fans all over the world, and the players were cheered as they lifted the trophy. It was a proud moment for Argentine football, and it is hoped that this win will lead to further success for the team. For Brazil, it was a disappointing result, but they can be proud of their performance and they will no doubt be back stronger in the future. See, we can see many countries competing to host the great international sport events like the World Cup football. But, there are arguments that hosting an event like World Cup football can have more problems than benefits. What do you think? Write your arguments in favor or against hosting an international sport event in about 500 words. Answer. Hosting an international sports event, such as the World Cup football, can be a great opportunity for a country to showcase its culture, infrastructure, and hospitality. However, there are arguments both in favor and against hosting such an event. One argument in favor of hosting international sporting events is that they can bring economic benefits to the host country. These benefits include increased tourism, job creation, and investments in infrastructure. For example, the 2010 World Cup in South Africa contributed significantly to the country's economy with the creation of new jobs and investments in infrastructure such as transportation and stadiums. In addition, hosting a major sporting event can promote national pride and create a sense of unity among the citizens of the host country. It can also increase the country's international profile and reputation, leading to long-term benefits for the economy and the country's image. However, there are also arguments against hosting international sporting events. One of the most significant arguments is that it can lead to a significant financial burden on the host country. The costs associated with hosting such events can often exceed the projected economic benefits, resulting in long-term economic damage. For example, 
The 2014 World Cup in Brazil was estimated to cost $14 billion, with many Brazilians questioning the value of such an investment. Another argument against hosting international sporting events is that they can lead to the displacement of local populations. This is often seen in the construction of new infrastructure, such as stadiums and hotels, which can result in the forced eviction of local residents. In some cases, these residents may not receive adequate compensation or alternative housing, leading to social unrest and protests. Furthermore, hosting international sporting events can also lead to issues such as security concerns, increased traffic congestion, and environmental damage. These issues can have a significant impact on the host country and its citizens, as well as the event itself. In conclusion, while hosting international sporting events can bring many economic, social, and cultural benefits to the host country, there are also many risks and challenges associated with such events. It is essential for a host country to carefully consider the costs and benefits of hosting an international sporting event and to ensure that the event is planned and executed in a way that minimizes negative impacts on the environment and local populations. Only then can the potential benefits of hosting an international sporting event be fully realized. Grammar Determiners and Quantifiers a. Observe the following examples. A. People have unethical justifications for all their actions. B. Americans throw away around 2.5 million plastic bottles every hour. C. Around 2 billion liters of human and industrial wastes are dumped into it each day. D. All of these create the illusion of complete pleasure at our fingertips with none of the hassles of pain. E. If a few drops of the ocean are dirty, the whole ocean does not become dirty. The words in bold face in the examples above are called determiners and quantifiers. We use determiners to identify things, the book, and we use quantifiers to say how much or how many, a few drops. The following table shows the determiners and quantifiers in English. Determiners Definite article, the. Indefinite articles, a n. Possessives, my, your, his, her, are, their, its. Demonstratives, this, that, these, those. Interrogatives, which, what. Quantifiers, any, all, many, much, most, some, a few, a lot of, a little, none, and the cardinal numbers, one, two, three, etc. B. Complete the following sentences with much, many, few or little. A. He is an introvert. He has got very friends. Answer. Few. B. I am busy in preparing my examinations. I have very time to give to you. Answer. Little. C. The entire winter season was dry this year. We had rain. Answer. Little. D. Our town has almost been modernized. There are old buildings left. Answer, a few. E. You can come today. I haven't got to do. Answer, much. F. The party was crowded. There were two people. Answer, many. G. How photographs did you take while you were in Switzerland? Answer, many. H. There was traffic so I came in time. Answer. Little. I. Can I borrow books from you? Answer. Some. J. Mohan can't be a good teacher. He has patience. Answer. Little. C. Put each or every in the following sentences. A. The party split into three factions, faction headed by a former prime minister. Answer. Each. B. Leap years occur, four years. Answer, every. C. Parent worries about their children. Answer, every. D. We had a great time in Singapore. We enjoyed minute of our time. 
Answer every. I could catch the main idea of his speech but I didn't understand of his words. Answer each. F. In Nepal, motorcycle rider should wear a helmet. Answer every. G. You must read of these books for the exam. Answer each. D. Rewrite the following sentences using all of, most of, none of, both of or some of. A. Your garden is superb. The flowers are beautiful. Answer all of. B. Do you know Bharat and Kamal? Of course, I do, them are my friends. Answer both of. C. I bought a box of apples thinking it would be cheaper, but I was mistaken. Them were rotten. Answer some of. D. When I was in the town, I asked some people for direction but them were able to help me. I had to call my friend. Answer, none of. E. We all were soaked in the rain because us had carried an umbrella. Answer, none of. F. My father is healthy in his seventies but he feels isolated because his friends are dead now. Answer, most of. G. All of the tourists are not Chinese, them are Korean too. Answer, some of. E. Choose the best word from the brackets to complete the sentences. A. Give me. Money I owe you. Which thy an? Answer, the. B. I want. Boat which would take me to the island. Than those A. Answer, A. C. Could you pour me. Water, please. Many few these some. Answer, some. D. Only. Employees know how important the project was. A few, a little, little few. Answer, a few. E. He was looking for. Umbrella. An A. Those these. Answer, an. F. Water was evaporated due to excessive heat. A large number of a lot of a large amount of many. Answer, a large amount of. Speaking. Asking for and giving reasons. A. We use the following expressions to ask for and give reasons in a discussion. Study them carefully. Asking for reasons. Why do you say? What makes you say? How come you think? Why do you think? Why do did you? Why don't didn't you? Why is our was were? Giving reasons. I say that because. Well, because. Well, in my experience. I think so as. Well, so as to. The reason was that. Let me explain. B. Read and practice the following conversations. Small black square why didn't you come to the party last night? Small black square well, because I was tired after the flight. Small black square sir, I am resigning. Small black square why? What makes you think that? Small black square the main reason is that I want to spend more time with my family. C. Work in pairs. Have similar conversations in the situations given below. A. You are on a ride with your friend who does not allow you to drive the bike? I. Why don't you allow me to drive the bike, my dear? Friend. Well, because the road ahead is quite narrow and sloppy with many bends. B. One of your friends did not go to the cinema with you last Saturday. I. Why didn't you go to the cinema with me last Saturday? Friend. The reason was that my brother had been quite sick at home. C. Your friend thinks that technical education is more important for Nepal. I. Why do you think that technical education is more important for Nepal? Friend, let me explain about it. Technical education provides instant jobs to the people. D. One of your friends is of the opinion that health facilities should be free in the country. I. What makes you say that health facilities should be free in the country? Friend, I say that because health is quite an important aspect for all. 
it should be well cared and cured for free all the time. E. A friend of yours has the opinion that politicians are in politics to serve themselves. I. What makes you say that politicians are in politics to serve themselves? Friend, well, because politicians are so corrupt and selfish by their nature. F. Your friend thinks that people are basically selfish and greedy. I. Why do you think that people are basically selfish and greedy? Friend, I think so as I have seen many people and experienced their different behaviors. G. Your teacher suggests you to check the bill before you pay it. Teacher, why does your teacher suggest you to check the bill before you pay it? I. Well, because he wants to see me active while buying something. D. Use the following prompts to express your own opinions as conversation starters in pairs. Ask for and give reasons for the opinions. I think our newspapers. A. Do a great job reporting the news. B. Do a poor job reporting the news. A. I think our newspapers do a great job reporting the news. Why do you think your newspapers do a great job reporting the news? Well, because our newspapers provide all the people with various important news. B. I think our newspapers do a poor job reporting the news. Why do you think our newspapers do a poor job reporting the news? I think so as I have read various bad comments of the readers in our website related to our newspapers. In my opinion, taxes should be A. Reduced B. SP.